Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over the following terms, output force, input force, output distance, input distance, and of course, mechanical advantage as it relates to one type of simple machine, which we call the incline plane or the ramp. And I made a similar video for these terms and mechanical advantage for the pulleys, which you can link to right here. But let's get started with the incline plane. Okay, so this is our incline plane. It is this white triangle. We have an object that is sitting on the incline plane, this blue rectangle. And of course, the object for an incline plane or a ramp is to get the object from the bottom to the top. Of course, it could be also be from the top to the bottom, but usually we want to move the object up the incline plane and get it up to the top of the incline plane. Now we have these four terms, input force, output force, input distance, output distance, and we're going to go over right now the definition of those four terms. The first one is the output force, which we like to abbreviate OF. And the output force, I think the best kind of workable definition for the output force is the weight of the object. And it is measured in newtons. It's a force. Forces are measured in newtons. Now, I, I would say it's probably called the output force because it's the force that the machine puts out. So we want to try and come up with a definition that doesn't use those words, output and force. So it's the weight of the object. And you can see I represent it here as a vector. Forces are vectors, just point straight down towards the earth, and it is the output force. The other force is the input force, and it is the force that you put, that's right, into the machine. And we abbreviate it IF, and it is the force needed to push or pull the object up the inclined plane. And once again, it is measured in newtons because it is a force. We draw the input force as an arrow, as a vector, and the vector that we draw in this case is parallel to the incline plane. All right, so those are the two forces. Now we have the two distances, and the output distance, abbreviated OD, is the distance that the object is raised, and it is simply the height of the inclined plane. It is the distance that you're hoping to get out of the machine. What do you really want to do? You want to raise the object up from the ground surface to the top of the inclined plane. So the distance you want to get out of the inclined plane is the output distance or the height of the machine measured in the base unit of the metric system for length, which is the meter. Now the input distance is the distance that you kind of have to put into the machine. And it's the distance over which the input force is applied. The input distance, abbreviated ID, is simply the length of the inclined plane. So for the inclined plane, the input distance is the length of the plane, and the output distance is the height of the inclined plane or the ramp, and those are both measured in meters. Now, for what is the mechanical advantage? The mechanical advantage is simply the factor by which the simple machine multiplies the input force. I think that is possibly the best definition I could find. There are some other definitions, but it's the factor by which the simple machine multiplies the input force. And in the next video, we're going to show you how to calculate and go over a little more detail about what mechanical advantages, but there are two equations that you can use to calculate the mechanical advantage. The first mechanical advantage is abbreviated MA. The mechanical advantage is simply the output force divided by the input force, or it's the input distance divided by the output distance. Now you'll remember and you'll notice that it's the both of the forces. So we have output, input force, and input output distances. Okay, so we keep the forces together and the distances together. In order to calculate the MA, we have to know either both forces or both distances for the simple machine, in this case, the inclined plane. And if you know all four of them, you can check. You should get the same or you must get the same mechanical advantage in both cases. Okay, and I always like to remember it's always the large, like I'm not sure if it's output over input or input over output, it's always the larger one divided by the smaller one because in most cases the mechanical advantage is always going to be greater than one. Okay, so there you go. That is a simple introduction. In the next video, as I said, you can link to right here, um, <clears throat> uh, we're going to go over how to calculate mechanical advantage. 
and some of the distances and the forces. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please do all of the following three things. You can subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. You can give me a nice thumbs up for this video, leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next video.